You can put 30 of these micros on a string for 480 volt. And the way it phases out is A, B, C phase. So it's a pretty simple solution. When might we see a, an IQ9 for, for like, let's say a residential application, 240 volt? I can throw this in the test chamber and I can test this thing for thousands and thousands of hours. And I can tell you, you probably can't do that with a giant string inverter, right? So I'm really proud of the fact that we got the end phase micro that I can test over and over again for um, reliability. The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And today we're coming back to you from RE Plus, the International Solar Conference here in Las Vegas. This afternoon, I'm joined by Jeremy Sullivan from Enphase. We're looking at the brand new Enphase IQ9 microinverter. So yeah. Jeremy, it's great to see you. Thanks for taking time to chat yeah, with us. My pleasure to be here. Well, I know that this is a product that's been eagerly anticipated for some time now. Um, I think really? we, when we had met with Ragu maybe last year, he kind of teased that we had a new microinverter coming out that was based on a new chemistry. So for those yeah. that are not familiar with, with the, the IQ9 or kind of what went into it, can you kind of break us down? Yeah. What, what is new with the IQ9? It looks like it's a lot smaller and lighter, um, but what's changed from the IQ8 yeah. series to the IQ9? Yeah, totally. And, and to be specific, uh, and what we're really proud of in this scenario, this is actually the IQ9N commercial grade 480 volt microinverter. So what we have here is a 277 480. Um, this particular microinverter, what I really like about it, not only is it using the GAN technology, replacing silicon, um, that helps a little bit obviously with the form factor like you had mentioned. So now we've got a smaller form factor, um, but also the fact that this product really replaces, um, you know, for 480, it's, it's really a better situation than the 208 volt, right? A lot of customers had a 208 volt solution. Um, that was good, but it wasn't quite enough for that 480 commercial product, yeah. All right, so is this the first the first of its kind at this voltage? You got it, yeah. Enphase has never done a 480 volt product, right? Being a micro company. So this is the first of its kind. We're really proud about it. And quite frankly, it's I think it's pretty good looking too. It's a smaller form factor, like I mentioned, um, and it's a little bit easier to handle and then what the beauty of this product, or what I like to call the magic is, um, you know, our cable, our QD cable, actually is phase rotating cable. So you can put 30 of these micros on a string for 480 volt. And the way it phases out is A, B, C phase. So it's a pretty simple solution. Very cool, very cool. So in terms of power handling per microinverter, what, what are we looking at now in terms of, I guess there, there'll be multiple models. The model we're looking at here is the IQ9N. Correct. Okay, but what are we looking at in terms of AC AC output? Okay, yeah, so these are 427, right? So you're probably DC-wise, you're probably pairing this with like a 550 uh, DC uh, panel, but these are a 427 AC side, or 427 VA, right? Okay, and are, are there other models planned on the line, or is this gonna be sort of the standard size for your, your commercial 480 volt? We're planning some more models coming down the pike, so we're pretty happy about that, but this one's, this one's unveiling uh, Pre-orders are happening this week, and then we're going to have this thing live for order, and you're going to be able to actually install it in Q4 of this year. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Figure. If you're considering financing the purchase of a solar or battery storage system for your home, then you need to take a look at the new Figure Home Equity line of credit. The Figure HELOC offers a lower fixed interest rate, no dealer fees, flexible payment terms, auto pay discount, and multiple draws if you need to expand your system in multiple phases. Loans are available up to $400,000 and interest may be tax deductible, saving you thousands compared to a traditional solar loan. So if you're serious about becoming energy independent and you want to avoid all the hidden fees and higher rates of solar loans, then check out the Figure HELOC. You can go directly to the Figure website or click the link in the description below, apply online in as little as five minutes and get funding in as few as five days. Very cool, very cool. All right, now what can you tell us about the new chemistry? I know it's based on gallium nitride, which replaces, I guess, silicon in the previous version, which Correct. has allowed it to, to be a smaller device. Is there anything else that you can share with us about the new chemistry? Yeah, I mean, ultimately, right, like Enphase is always going to be on the cutting edge of like, how do we make our products more reliable, more durable, with higher quality, but keep that same process and, form, and, and then shrink down the form factor deal a little bit better with heat, right? Because that's always a concern for customers, but maintain that 25 year warranty. I can tell you what I really like about this commercial product, if we're talking 480, I can throw this in the test chamber 
and I can test this thing for thousands and thousands of hours. And I can tell you, you probably can't do that with a giant string inverter, right? So I'm really proud of the fact that we got the Enphase Micro that I can test over and over again for um, reliability. So they, we're going to have that with the GAN, GAN devices. Um, eventually, you're going to see that GAN technology in more of our systems, more of our micro systems as well. Okay, yeah, that was going to be my next question. So, you know, when, when might we see a, an IQ9 for, for like, let's say, a residential application, 240 volt? I love that question. I, I think we're going to see that pretty soon here, to be honest. I think we're probably going to see it right in the beginning of 2026, right in the beginning. Um, which, again, you know, Enphase is trying to beat the cost out of uh, the 30% tax credit, right? So we've got to do our part as well. And so I think that's going to be a major play too. It's like, what can we do to make sure the customers still have the quality and reliability with a 25 year warranty, but also where can we beat out some costs and maybe GAN can help us there as well. Okay, well, I, I was going to be actually, actually ask you that next. So I know maybe you can't give me specific pricing. Right. It's going to depend on how many you buy and where you buy from, but compared to the previous generation commercial microinverter, where, where do we see these falling with the new chemistry? We're seeing them, we're seeing them at probably a no net change, if not a less expensive product. Yep. Great, great. Well, the, the smaller form factor and the less weight has got to help too. Just, yeah. You know, not only that, I, I think also being able to put 30 micros on a string, right? So, uh, or 30 micros on, on an entire row uh, with a 20 amp breaker gives you an opportunity to have less BOS or balance of systems. So that's going to drive down the cost of solar as well. Great. So again, folks, this has been a first look at the new Enphase IQ9 microinverter. This is the 480 volt commercial version that we're looking at here. Uh, and again, you said these should be available Q4 this year? Yeah, we're first? gonna start seeing them. You can pre-order them now. Uh, by the time this video probably gets out, um, you can pre-order them and then uh, you'll be able to start installing them Q4 and Q1 of next year. Yeah. And you're, you're selling through the same distribution partners where you would buy your... your... As always, we work with Disties. Yep. Okay. Proud with of you. that. Well, folks, again, this has been an early look at the new Enphase IQ9 microinverter. Uh, by the way, folks, this is the reason we come to all the conferences like that. You know, for those of you who can't come out here to Las Vegas to, to see a lot of this stuff hands-on, but we want to make sure that you all stay up to date with all the latest solar technology and product information. But uh, that does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.